As of 5 p.m. Uh, today, masks are no longer required on uh, U.S. domestic flights. Please feel free to keep wearing them if you would like to. Pilots across the country, as you're seeing right here, are changing up their pre-flight announcements following a federal judge's ruling to throw out the travel mask mandate. This happened today. The ruling means masks are no longer required on public transportation and airlines, but with a spike in new COVID cases now in at least 34 different states, the CDC is strongly recommending Americans mask up again. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the story. With COVID cases from coast to coast climbing once again, mask no longer required for millions traveling on public transportation. It comes after a federal judge in Florida overturned the federal mask mandate on planes and public transit, saying the rule, quote, exceeds the CDC's statutory authority. This is obviously a disappointing decision. The CDC continues recommending wearing a mask in public transit. The decision triggering a wave of reaction in the aviation industry. Trade group Airlines for America releasing a statement saying U.S. airlines have been strong advocates for eliminating pandemic era policies and are encouraged by the lifting of the federal transportation mask mandate. United and Delta Airlines among the airlines making mask optional for passengers and staff effective immediately. Delta CEO talking with the Washington Post. We've done it for two years and it's time to uh, to move beyond that and, and now make that the responsibility of individuals. The battle over mask heating up in Philadelphia too. Today, the city put its indoor mask mandate back into effect to curb a spike in new cases. But some frustrated businesses and residents are now suing to stop the mask rule. And in New York, the city set to raise its risk level to medium, but the mayor says he's not ready to require mask indoors just yet. We are advising New Yorkers uh, to wear a mask, but we're not at the point of mandate right now. Nationwide new infections now rising in 34 states with the sharpest increase in the Northeast. Given the spread, the Biden administration now says today's court decision on the federal transit mask mandate is now under review. The CDC are reviewing the decision and of course the Department of Justice uh, would make any determinations about litigation. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles. And in a statement late tonight, the TSA announced it will no longer enforce the mask requirement. Airports across the country like Houston and Dallas almost immediately ended their mandates after that announcement.